Welcome to Kolkata, India. Behind this very peaceful and serene picture lies a very dark and sad truth. We just finished speaking to Isha, and she told us her story. At 13 years old, she got a cell phone, and she did what any kid would do. She downloaded all the social media apps and started talking and engaging with her friends. She met a boy, and they started chatting, and he promised her many things. He promised her a better future, a possibility for a job, and living in a new, exciting city. As, as someone from a poor background, she was very excited for this opportunity, so she took the chance and met him in person. Unfortunately, he turned out not to be who he said he was. He kidnapped her and tricked her into sex trafficking, which is something she's still recovering from today. Unfortunately, unfortunately in India, the story of Isha is not an anomaly. As you can see here on this map, um, India is a very big hotspot for human trafficking, including the city of Kolkata. The increase of social media and the increase of use of technology in India has made traffickers easier, has given traffickers easier access to target their victims and to coerce them into sex trafficking. They usually talk to them about false promises and the false idea of a better future. But fortunately for Kolkata, they have been introduced to a wonderful organization called Destiny. We have been very lucky to be working with Destiny this whole year, and we are very excited to share with you this short video of what Destiny is all about. When Destiny found out about the increased use of social media for traffickers to target their victims, they reached out to us and they presented us with this challenge to help vulnerable children avoid exploitation through social media. We've been working very hard this whole year to come up with a solution to their problem and we are very excited to introduce that to you. So the solution we came up with is an educational game called Animology. With animology, we can talk about social dangers, especially online, and also talk about the positive aspects of the internet. How do we do this? We use examples of social interactions in the animal kingdom, and we draw parallels to similar social situations that these kids can face in real life or online. The, uh, the game is designed in a way that it can be played on one computer and can entertain an entire class uh, with a facilitator who guides them through a game. That's why we also made this game guide where the facilitator gets extra information, uh, additional exercises, and much more. So now I want you to listen to something. What do you think the sound is, Tessa? Hmm. It sounds like a construction site, like they're building something. Close. Well, let's find out what it was. So this was actually a lyrebird. Lyrebird are nature's living tape recorders. They can imitate almost any sound they hear in their near surroundings. They've been known to imitate sounds like phones, car alarms, uh, rifle shots, and even human voices. So what you just saw was an example of an intro question that we came up with for our game. Animals like to deceive each other, like the lyrebird deceived you guys. Like the Indian stick insect tries to convince everyone it's a stick. And humans are no better in their ways of deception. But things like uh, online fake news, hoaxes, or deep fake, deep fake videos. Another good example is freeloading. Like the mosquito gets a free meal when you're sleeping or are off guard. So too can a computer virus or an actual virus, like COVID-19, secretly infiltrate your system, that being your body or a PC. And lastly, luring. Luring is a well-known animal behavior. 
for example, the angler fish uses its light to draw prey close in the depths of the ocean. So too will human traffickers try to get people close to them, and when close enough, strike. With these examples, we can talk about sensitive issues in a new way and learn something at the same time. So this is uh, the intro of our game. We developed a prototype session around communication. In this session, uh, the children will learn about the use and misuse uh, of communication by looking at how animals communicate and then linking it to how humans communicate, especially online. We used in this session a, a mascot of a meerkat because the meerkat plays an important role in this communication session. Here you see an overview of all our sessions. So we found a lot of examples um, or links between animal behavior and human behavior. And we want to uh, create different sessions, each dedicated to a certain topic. We will work these further out. So this game wouldn't be possible without this amazing team. We're a very uh, multicultural group with uh, seven different nationalities, each one of them bringing their own expertise and their own background to this project. Then the future. And yes, I say future because this special uh, PIP Engage project requires more time to truly develop. To get this project to the next level, we will partner up with some organizations. First of all, close the gap. With close the gap, we will try to bridge the digital divide. And there is an enormous gap. Like we all have high-tech digital devices like smartphone, Destiny only has one computer for their digital literacy program. With Close the Gap, we can donate some high-quality computers to Destiny to expand this program and, of course, use our game. At the same time, we will develop an actual game in the Unity engine. We will partner up with some developers in India as well as in Belgium to work in this Unity engine. We also apply for uh, Unity for Humanity, which is a grant who supports creators who will create a game with Unity that has a meaningful impact for struggling societies and, and communities. Then, the bigger picture. We believe that with animology, uh, we can not only help Destiny, but also other NGOs across the globe. Uh, we think with animology, we will teach kids uh, worldwide, just like Isha, um, a much needed knowledge base about growing up and the role of technology in it. Thank you very much for your attention, and we look forward to having you in our booth checking out our game. Are you interested in PIP? Do you consider joining a project next year? Or do you just want to learn a little bit more? Please come take a look at our website. I really hope that you consider applying yourself and I really look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you.